Hello, welcome to Chairside Live. I'm Megan Strong. And I'm Will Schmidt, registered dental assistant here at Gladwell Dental. All right, Will, you ready to two-step? Megan, I would always love to dance with you, but I didn't wear my dancing boots today. Well, that's unfortunate, but it's also fortunate because I'm not talking about the dance, I'm talking about the two-step impression technique. Oh, of course. It's not just a worldwide dance craze. Nope. It's also an amazing way to take mm -hmm. full arch impressions on night guards, sports guards, smile transitions appliances, the list goes on. Yeah, it's definitely an important technique to have in your wheelhouse. So let's get to it. Let's talk about making great full mouth pretreatment impressions today. Now, if taking a digital scan is simply not an option in your practice, taking a perfect VPS impression is just as important. I'd like to show step by step the way we recommend full mouth pretreatment impressions for full arch removable appliances, as well as diagnostic model work to be taken. Your setup for this impression should include the Capture Soft Putty Kit. This is a basin catalyst kit complete with two spoons for an even one-to-one -one mixing ratio. A uh, Capture VPS Crown Oral Set Medium Body Syringable Material, uh, including two mixing tips. We prefer these tips to be in the 54 millimeter gauge size. Also Capture VPS Fast Oral Set by Registration Paste with uh, just one mixing tip. Uh, this tip we prefer to be in the 6.5 millimeter gauge size. Uh, you're going to use a full arch maxillary and mandibular impression tray. Uh, get four cotton rolls and a plastic headrest cover or a chair cover with a pretty standard pair of scissors. To get these plastic sheets ready, we're going to cut uh, about a 4x4 four four inch square out of the folded cover. Uh, open it up if you need to and cut it again through the midline just to separate it into two 4x4 four four inch squares. Now cut each square from the midline of one side to the center of the square. This is just to give the plastic some flexibility to be manipulated during the impression process. It's also recommended to bleed the VPS syringes for the initial use as well as every time the tip is changed to make sure a uniform one-to-one -one ratio of material is always used. Try and incise both the upper and lower impression trays first. It's also a good idea to make sure that the lips can fold pretty cleanly around the anterior portion of the tray after you put it in. Now starting with this lower tray, hand mix a pretty heaping spoonful of both the putty base and the catalyst in equal parts until that mixture is just one solid color. Roll the putty into a cylinder and shape it into that impression tray. Hand form a slight indentation where the teeth will rest. Put one of your pre-cut plastic squares centered on top of the tray with the tongue cut area between these arches. I try to cover up all exposed impression putty with this plastic sheet. Place the entire assembly in the mouth and seat it into place first with hand pressure. Uh, next place two cotton rolls bilaterally at the bicuspid area and ask the patient to bite into them firmly. Manipulation of the lip can aid in the formation of this putty tray. Then after five seconds of firm pressure, remove that tray from the patient's mouth. While this putty is still pretty soft, take off that plastic sheet and you can hand manipulate the putty just to remove any potential undercut areas or stretch and mold a more ideal tray shape. Uh, basically what we're trying to accomplish here with this step is the formation of a chair side custom tray. Now start adding the syringable medium body material directly into the tray while keeping the mixing tip buried. You're trying to avoid air bubbles from becoming trapped. All of this is accomplished while the putty is still curing to aid in the eventual integration of both of these layers together. Now this entire assembly is now placed back in the mouth and seated just with hand pressure. I'm gently pressing the chin and the cheek area and that's going to help to flow the medium body material and just to remove any air bubbles that may be present. The most important technique requirement at this stage is to make sure that this tray is held in with hand pressure only. Don't ask the patient to bite on any props to hold this in place. The impression can be removed after it's set and checked to make sure everything is in order. The same procedure steps can now be performed with the upper arch. The putty is mixed, it's rolled, and then we shape it into the tray. The remaining plastic sheet is placed over the center of the tray with the center cut line at this time over the paddle area. This assembly is placed in the mouth, lips are folded over the anterior, Hand pressure initially seats the tray, and then the cotton rolls bitten into place around the bicuspid area are used to completely seat it. After five seconds of biting pressure, take out the tray, take off the plastic, hand form the putty if you need to, and then immediately begin to fill the tray with medium body VPS. I'm asking this patient to lean their head forward just to prevent this material from going down their throat. 
reseat the tray with hand pressure only, palpate the cheeks and lips to remove air bubbles and voids, and then hold the tray, continuing with hand pressure only, until the impression has set and may be removed. The final step requires a bite registration of the patient's arches in centric occlusion. We do recommend the use of the Capture VPS Fast Oral Set Bite Registration Paste, spread out over the full arch, allowed to set, and then removed. Thank you for watching this informative video on Glidewell Dental's recommended steps to acquiring full mouth pretreatment impressions for full arch removable appliances, as well as diagnostic model work to be taken. Well, thank you, Will. Not a problem, Megan. It was double the fun to put that one together. The puns from this one. Well, if you're ready for some more fun and earn free CE credits, head on over to GlidewellDental.com where you can take Dr. Gisola's course, Crown and Bridge, Clinical Tips for Success. That's right. These are his tried and true methods. So it's time to go check them out for free. Well, for today's episode, we're all wrapped up. So on behalf of everyone here at Glidewell Dental, thank you so much for watching. And we'll meet you right back here next time.